The Minn Kota Power Drive V2 comes only as a bow mount option. In order to use this on the stern of a boat, you'll need to reverse the steering in the pedal. During this tutorial, I'll show you how. There are three springs located in the bottom of the foot pedal. You'll need to remove these with a thin pair of needle nose pliers. Simply pull up on each spring and let it slide down inside of the pedal. Once you have removed these, the rocker panel on the top will simply lift off. Lift off the panel and locate the green and yellow wires. The green and yellow wires are what control your direction or your steering. What we're going to want to do is cut these two wires and then we're going to strip them and we're going to invert them so that the yellow wire coming from the cable runs into the green wire going into the circuit card. And we'll reverse this for both of them. This way when you press down on the right side of your pedal, the motor will actually spin in the opposite direction so that if you are transom mounting this motor, stern mounting it, the boat will turn in the correct direction. So after you have uh, stripped the wires, just twist the yellow and the green together for each. I'm going to solder these wires together just to make sure that there's a good strong connection and that nothing will pull apart. As you can see here, in order to waterproof it, um, the original manufacturer wiring is epoxied down to the circuit card. So once I'm done soldering here, I'm going to take a hot glue gun, I'm going to cover the, uh, the speed control so there's no chance to get any glue on it, and I'm just going to totally encase the two leads in hot glue and glue it to the original ball of epoxy. Once you're done, you just need to put those springs back on, carefully pull them back up through, and latch them back onto the frame and you are good to go.